until about 20 years ago, little was known about microbursts, but we know a lot about them now. And when it comes to general aviation aircraft, especially those flying close to the ground, the effects can be dramatic. Microbursts, in a sense, are an explosive downdraft produced in areas of unstable air, such as found in thunderstorms. Less than three miles wide, they can contain winds up to 140 knots. A microburst is created when a large mass of air comes down to the surface as a severe downdraft at very high speeds. The descending air meeting the earth beneath the cell flows horizontally outwards in all directions. At cruising altitude, the wind shear created from downdrafts may not be much of a problem, but during an approach or takeoff, there's a greater need for caution. On takeoff, an aircraft passing through a downdraft near a thunderstorm cell may encounter rapidly changing wind shear of a headwind, followed by a downdraft and a tailwind. Studies show at typical low altitude encounters of wind shear below 500 feet above the ground, there are only about 5 to 15 seconds available to recognize a sudden descent and recover. With an average duration of only two to three minutes, microbursts are short-lived and difficult to detect, so it's easy to see why one aircraft during a takeoff or landing can observe smooth conditions while the next can be affected by dangerous winds. Hot and humid days and intense rain are ideal conditions for microburst activity. And once microburst activity starts, expect to find multiple microbursts in the same general area. While prompt action is required when wind shears are countered, the best defense is to avoid it altogether. Heed other pilots' reports of encounters with wind shear microbursts that are filed in their PIREPs. It may be your only warning. And if you experience wind shear, warn others as soon as possible by sending a PIREP of your own.